Hi Libra, it's L here to do your uh, April, mid-April uh, 2018 general reading. Oh, what's this deck I'm using? I don't forgot. I'll, I'll list it below. People have been asking, so yeah. Uh, I have shuffle and prayed over the cards off camera, but we give the cards a quick shuffle and then we get started. I hope that all of my Libras have found mental peace and clarity in the month of April um, and going forward. All right, so we'll start out with love. We'll do a quick spread for love. Um, yeah. All right, let's go. What are the love messages for Libra? True, accurate messages for Libra. Messages of love and light. Messages of clarity. Messages that will ultimately bring Libra back to our creator in prayer and in supplication. Here we go. Queen of Water. Some of you are dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you're just very highly intuitive. Uh, this is typically Cancer. Um, just found a lot of spiritual um, groundedness. Look how her eyes are closed. This could be male or female. What crosses that is the page of fire. Maybe a message comes in from this person. Uh, or you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Or a message comes in from this person that um, it makes you... Um, it calls you to action. You know, the page of fire or the page of wands, they're all about action. This message isn't just, you know, I mean, you can choose not to take action, but this message is conditional, especially if it involves this person. Yeah, queen of fire uh, at the basis for all of the energy. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo, or you're just feeling very attractive, charismatic, seductive, um, you're a go-getter, that, the affirmation of I want, desire, um, you could either be, you know, someone else's desire or, um, you're just going after what you want, you're making things happen for yourself, all right, presently, your energy is, let's see, the high priestess. Wow, like I said, just find a spiritual spiritual clarity, being spiritually guided, holding on to your, your plans and your intentions also. A lot of people say secrets, you know, oh, you're holding secrets, or someone's around you holding secrets. Maybe there's a Pisces around you holding secrets. It can go either way. It's a general reading. Uh, but I really feel like you're holding on, you're holding closely to your plans, your plans for yourself. All right? What is the past energy for Libra? The past energy for Libra. The king of fire. Nice. King and queen here. We could be talking about a long-standing relationship or marriage. Or just two individuals that really mirror each other, you know, in a sense of uh, personality, desire, wants, out of life, out of, you know, a relationship. Going forward, we have the energy of the lovers, Gemini. A choice needs to be made in the future. A Gemini could be involved with this choice. Your power, mm, the ten of air, ending something. Ending something with great disappointment, or if not with great disappointment, um, uncertainty, unfortunate event. This is your energy, ten of air. Okay. Let's see. External to use the ace of earth. So a new foundational start. This is the Ace of Pentacle. A new start of a business. A new taking a relationship to the next level. Engagement. Moving in together. Making a big or large purchase for yourself or with someone else. 
It's a foundational start, a new found, a new blessed foundational start. All right, your hopes and fears, hopes and fears for Libra. Two of fire. We have a we have two decision cards. You get one, we get three twos on them. You have a lot of decisions to make in regards to your life path, your life focus, and what you're doing. Uh, okay, if, if those don't come back out, they'll come back out. Of, a fire sign could be, oh, nice. Okay, I'll wait. A fire sign could be significant with the two of fire, but whatever you're doing, you're actively moving in a different direction, active movement in your love life. Could be in work, home, school, but you know, this might be love. The outcome is the Ten of Water, the Ten of Cups. So the ultimate and the highest level of happiness here in the outcome. So a really good outcome. It looks like um, you got a choice to be made about two people, two situations of how you make money. Uh, which way are you going? I pulled two more cards for the outcome. What is this ten of water? Why is Libra at the highest in the ultimate level of happiness? Why is Libra? So for some of you, this is like um, a choice of a new career path. Do you want to stay on that road that you're on? Or are you moving into something completely new and not going back to what you've done for years will of fortune right um so the wheel is turning for you now this is a destined this is another 10 there's ending here uh then there's the new beginning 10 and then one um or zero the full This is whatever it is, whatever you choose, Libra, either whether it's to embark on this new, maybe business, new solid venture, Queen of Air, could be you, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Typically, this is Gemini. It could be you, though. You become up as the Queen of Swords because you're cutting out what you feel no longer serves you anymore, making a solid, rational, strategic. Of movement nine of fire yeah evaluating a past situation as to should I go back should I stay so Libra it looks like um, you're evaluating the situation and asking yourself do I want to go back it looks like you got a choice to make messenger of earth because there's a there might be uh, seven of our, yeah, you've already invested somewhere else. Then there's a message of stability coming in, maybe from a Capricorn Virgo Taurus, or just a really stable offer elsewhere. Could be this Ace of Earth. Seven of Water at the bottom of the deck, severely confused about what to do. Pray, meditate, because then, um, confusion will you know go away because now spirit can speak to you because you get into a place where you'll be able to hear the divine message all right okay so that's love that could, I really felt like that was like career and business could be love for some of you I do I'll pull another quick spread whatever comes up comes out i'm not even gonna say it's love or business because spirit wants to tell you what they want to tell you all right thank you for the messages for libra true accurate messages for libra messages for Libra. okay jack of clubs a reliable friend a reliable source um they come in swiftly uh, Knight of Wands could be 
in and out, a player. In this deck, this is the reliable friend. What crosses that is an ending and a new beginning, transformation of a situation. All right, ten. Of, what crowns this is the ten of cups again, or ten of hearts, the highest and the ultimate level of, of happiness. This came out with it also the jack of spades. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is the actor too. This this jack can play many faces. This could be you holding on to those secrets. Uh, in regards to um, what you're doing and how to get to this highest level of happiness. You could be coming up or someone else could be coming up as unreliable, but, but still well-meaning. A little immature and unreliable, but well-meaning. In the past, was the four of diamonds, maybe a large sum of money came in. You won the lottery or um, there's just a lot of holding on to you. You're trying to hold on to your status. In, in terms of your money um, you are where you are and you're trying to stay there all right presently the three of Pentacles could be some legal issues some legalities some partnership uh, getting recognition and work going forward nine of clubs wow wish fulfillment and maybe that's why you're gonna be super happy all right seven of oh. Seven of Hearts and the King of Water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is my unfaithful spouse, Broken Promises card. And the King of Hearts rests there. So if we're talking about love, then it might not look too good. All right. External to use the Ten of Diamond. So legacy what's already been established a relationship a, a business partnership either someone wants to have this with you someone's trying to create this with you maybe by way of partner partnering with you uh, that's external to you capricorn virgo taurus hopes and fears three of club uh Gossip, resentment, Try, you've established two, two wands, and I think you know that the fourth one, that'll be stability, and you're trying to get there, so you might have to choose you and, and practice a healthy level of selfishness. That's the hopes and fears, so it might be just kind of leaving something else behind. You, you've started something else to move on to something that will gain you or grant you stability. All right, here's your ending and your beginning. The Ace of Diamond and the Ten of Spade. Nice. Something ends, but something is beginning here for you. Um, and it's, it's almost like the last spread. It's like, you just have to make the decision. It looks like somebody's already doing it, though, in this spread. Some of my Libras are already there. Making the decision to pour into, yeah, nine of diamond, a business opportunity that is making you restless in your current position, your current job. End it, Libra, and do what you really want to do. You're so scared. And there is my entrepreneur. Success in business and home with the five of diamond. Nine of club at the bottom of the deck. A secret admirer. A new boyfriend, new girlfriend. All right, Libra. It looks really good. Luck is... You are Lady Luck, okay? All right, so let's pull... All right, I'm going to pull three cards as to... And these have reversals in it. Three cards as to... Okay, Libra, as to what Libra should know going forward. It fell face down, so we'll take it. If the cards fall face up, I do not take them. Um, more so because I just, I just think it's a, it was a mistake. Um, if it wants to come back out, it will. Please don't get in my comments asking me questions about how I read my cards on my channel. 
start your own, read your own cards. I don't have time for that. You will be deleted. This is a channel of love and light. I don't do the whole arguing with people. I, I can't. I'm way too busy for that. All right, let's go. Open the next one. Two of Wands. Again, you've, somebody's actively making a decision to chart a new path. Looks like in business. The Page of Cups. There might not be a lot of love going on for you right now, Libra. Might just be focused on business and home. Might not be giving the messages of love. Seven of Wands. You're trying to stand your ground in something. You're really defensive. Um, maybe towards a fire sign. Bottom of the deck, the lovers again. Definitely have a choice. The choice card. You, ch you got to choose. Some of you are actively choosing. Some of you know in your heart and in your emotions. You have to choose your heart and your mind are not aligned right now. Get into alignment so you can make the correct choice. And you won't be so defensive about which way to go. All right, Libra. Okay, advice cards for Libra. One, two, and three. Family changes, leaving. Be true to you. Nice. Bottom of the deck, sentimental feelings. And this is what we all have when we're leaving um, a job situation or something of that nature. Because, I mean, like, especially if you've been in a career or with a company for a long time, there are feelings um, outside of how you do your work and it just being a, a place of work. You have uh, established relationships with people. Um you know, when you go to work Monday through Friday or whatever it is you do, um, you see those people more than you see your family at times. So moving away from that kind of stability in your life will, you know, it does bring up the sentimental feelings. All right. Uh, family changes. Some of you may be pregnant, uh, be becoming engaged or married, moving in together. Uh, someone may be leaving the home. Some of you have... Uh, Teenagers who will now be going to college soon. Um, someone's contemplating moving out of the home. You or someone else leaving. Some of you, like I said, are leaving job situations. Some of you are leaving relationships. Some of you are leaving um, um, a business behind. Whatever it may be, you may be leaving drama behind. Uh, an old mindset whatever it is be true to you you know what you really want to do the cards say yes move take the next step uh, you have to do that Libra or you won't be being true to you so I hope that this message resonated with each and every Libra who viewed the video um, Remember, Libra, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care, and I'll talk to you in May.